Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 1st to the 7th of March 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for Leo. Okay, message for our lovely Leos, thank you. They're a little bit chunky these cards. <laughs> So I'll choose the first card because they are a little bit difficult to manage, but I do like them. Okay, what do we have for Leo, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Leos. First to the 7th of March, 2021. So we have the 8th of cups so this is the need to move on seeking more from life than what you are experiencing a spiritual quest choosing to make big life changes a change in priorities leaving home The Eight of Cups can sometimes be a card of walking away from disappointment or putting disappointment behind you. It can also be about saying goodbye to something. But here we have, Leo, the need to move on, seeking more from life than what you are experiencing, a spiritual quest, choosing to make big life changes, a change in priorities, leaving home. Okay. Message for Leo, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Leos. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Again, with the Eight of Cups, which is very intuitive energy, we have Goddess of the Moon, which is about trusting your intuition. And we have number 33, which is about door to romance, new beginnings in terms of love, romance, relationships. Okay. Or something that you love. Sometimes I get this energy of, it feels to do with new love here. That can be in terms of love, romance, relationships, but I'm also getting something that you love too. Okay, what do we have for Leo, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Leos. Thank you. Get more information. Interesting. Get more information. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards, Leo. And then we'll clarify the cards to go deep into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, what do we have for Leo, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Leo, thank you. What do we have for Leo? 1st to the 7th of March, 2021. Okay, so the 6th of wands ten of wands the ace of swords okay can we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for leo thank you 1st to the 7th of March, 2021. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Okay, Leo, there you are, the King of Wands, and we have the Hanged Man. We 
have the Two of Cups here, clarifying, clarifying the Ten of Wands. And the Ace of Swords, Leo, we have the Hermit. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups, a celebratory energy, positive communication, joy, happiness. Feels very beautiful. I'm going to clarify. Let me grab the cards. Let's clarify this Eight of Cups. Let's clarify this Eight of Cups for Leo. Thank you. Let's clarify this Eight of Cups for Leo. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it can't really be much clearer than this. We've got the Death card endings. Shedding an old skin. So there's definitely an energy here, Leo. Seeking more from life than what you are experiencing choosing to make big life changes this feels like somebody walking away this is either somebody you walking away from somebody or or them walking away from you um but there's definitely an ending now this is the phoenix rising card as well though because the phoenix rises from the ashes of the old it actively destroys the old in order to bring the new in this is out with the old in with a new and for some of you you're ready towards something that is more fulfilling you want more out of life, maybe making some big life changes, decisions here, saying goodbye to something that doesn't serve you anymore because you're ready to emerge once more to embrace new possibilities. So it definitely feels for some of you there is some kind of ending here. You might have been dealing with some kind of ending. I mean, this can also be a card of disappointment but you're ready to shed an old skin, put it behind you because a new door is opening. Now this is happiness. This can be new love for some of you or something that you love coming your way. And remember the moon is divine energy, divine blessings, hidden blessings. Even though you don't see the big picture, the universe does. It's a card of surrender as well. Yeah, you're being guided. Something about getting more information here, Leo. You might be waiting for something to come your way as well because the, there's an energy here. This is all Leo energy as well, apart from the hanging man. Um, in your challenge position, feeling a little bit out of character, not feeling quite yourself. Something has challenged you. But, you know, this is the growth. This is the energy that will make you discover who you are because there's definitely this energy of you're waiting for something to play out. You know, the hanged man can be when there's relationship changes. Um, it can be our periods of limbo, can be to do with health, that can be to do with career losses. You know, the hanged man is periods of limbo where we're just aligning to the right, avenue for us to follow you know and there's definitely an energy of you're going through some kind of challenge here this generally is a card the six of wands is a card of putting a difficult situation behind you but i'm feeling that you're just still waiting for something to play out you're still waiting for something to play out but things will become clear there's definitely that kind of energy here you are being aligned to exactly where you need to be. So there's definitely an energy of keep taking action, keep keep moving forward. In the King of Wands is somebody who takes the lead, takes charge, takes control of situations. But it might well be in this instance that you're feeling a little bit powerless, you know, um, in terms of how because it's almost kind of like maybe external events or dealing with certain events. You're just waiting for things to be aligned so you can actually come back into your element. 
and overcome some kind of challenge and put it behind you, but it feels like you're still going through this process. However, however, it's going to be over soon. The period of challenge is going to be over. And, you know, for me, with the death card, this card is about making space for the new. Uh, because this has been a difficult journey. You've been tested. You have really been trying to put your energy and drive to overcome something. And yet there is this energy of just wait one moment because something needs to play out here. This could be with where you need to just get more information before you are absolutely aligned to where you need to be. And remember that Eight of Cups is a card of alignment as well. Um, so something has burdened you, pressure, uh, feeling the pressure, the weight of the world of the weight on your shoulders. But this is a 10. The burden, the weight is about to be lifted. And there's definitely this energy of now is the time to make space for the new, release the burdens. And it feels like release the burdens of what has challenged you before. Either you walked away from somebody or them walking away from you or uh, walking away from disappointment or ready to make some big life changes, whatever this is, it feels like you're ready for the new. This is the past journey of burden. This is the new. Because the new wants to come in. Two of Cups is a, quite a new energy. It's new love. Uh, now this can be to do with an offer of love. Somebody new coming into your life. And there's definitely an energy of don't carry past burdens into a new relationship. Because it's almost kind of like if you carry the baggage of the old, you won't make space for the new. This is heart energy instant attraction with somebody instant attraction and an opportunity to emerge in a new beginning you know this is heart energy heart to heart heart to heart conversations exchanges someone very much sparking your interest like-minded souls the conversation flows freely so there's definitely an energy of allow the weights of the past to be lifted or they will lift to embrace this new possibility here for you. Now, yes, this can be to, to do with offers, invitations, something that you love as well. Um, yeah. You have been going through a period of healing. I'm definitely getting that kind of energy. But when the hermit appears, Leo, certainly in an outcome, there is the raising of the vibration from within, reconnecting to who you are um from within shining your lamp from within and releasing any barriers or obstacles that are stopping you being in your element once more so i'm definitely getting that energy of uh it, this can be about finding answers from within now and how you need to take action in your external environment i'm ready i'm ready for the new once more i'm ready for the new i have healed i am ready to release the weights I'm ready for this new possibility here. This is the break breakthrough. This is the, cut the cutting of the cords with the past. This is the liberation energy as well. The Ace of Swords, victory, success, the new beginning. Seeing things clearly. Some kind of breakthrough energy here. The past no longer has hold over me. I'm ready to embrace the new possibilities, new beginnings. So there's definitely this kind of energy of a weight lifting this week, opening new possibilities coming into your life. And I'm definitely getting this instant attraction with somebody because again, they're, they're, the Three of Cups is an energy of the winter is over, the spring is here. New conversations are forming, new bonds are forming. Um, can be new team is forming you know this is a cup of joy reasons to celebrate uh feel good energy so i definitely get this energy of new communications um could even be with a friend here i mean it's not limited to that but this can be a card of friendship too so for some of you maybe you're seeing somebody differently 
But this is definitely an energy of cutting cords with the weights of the past. It's air energy. It's light energy. It's the victory over what you've been through and ready to open in new, open to new possibilities. And I'm definitely getting this Two of Cups energy in new love. First and foremost, it feels like there's instant attraction with somebody new. Okay, so final message for Leo, please, Angel Spirits Guides. Final message for Leo, thank you. Final message for Leo. Yeah, we have Ask for Help. Angels are celestial beings who protect everyone. And the fairies say now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance. You're being watched over. Beautiful, beautiful energy, Leo. I mean, this can be about emotional support as well. Could be somebody who's helped you through an emotional time. You might be seeing them in a new light. So can be that kind of energy. It's not limited to that. I just think for some of you, you're ready to cut cords and open to new possibilities. It's beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Leo. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.